me first explain what omics logic is, what the purpose of this program is, and hopefully we can uh, also get to know about you and your background. I see some of you have already shared where you're from. Uh, maybe some of you have questions, so that will be great, and you can keep those questions coming. So omics logic, and I would like to first uh, take you to uh, the portal um, just to make sure that everybody's uh, going to be have access to a lot of the things that we will cover. So the first thing that I would like to ask you to do yeah. is really join us uh, here on the portal. So if you do have your microphone on, uh, please keep it on mute for now. Uh, you don't need to turn on your video either. Uh, but uh, first of all, this is the portal where a lot of the materials that we will be covering in today's session and in the sessions that will come in the following several weeks will be posted. I'll guide you through. But to have access, you should be logged in and you should be able to see uh, what I see here. And, and that includes your email address right here on top. So let's just take a moment uh, right now. If you could go to this link, check that you are signed in, the registration is free. Um, and uh, all you need to do is create a password and a login. And once you're in, please put number one or yes in the chat box so that I know that you are in here. So here, as you can see, I am logged in and I can see my name, my email address right here on the top. And if I click on it, I will be redirected to my profile. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mohammed, Maureen, marvelous. Okay, excellent. So I'll just give it one uh, more minute for everybody to be able to log in and uh, find your way around. And what I wanted to ask you to do, uh, and thank you, Davi. So if you're in, you should be able to click on your email address and arrive right here to your profile. And I will explain a little bit why this profile is the center place of this whole portal and why it's important to start this program by visiting this profile. So as you can imagine, we will cover a lot of different topics and not everything can be covered in our live sessions. A lot of what you will have access to will be also available in an asynchronous way, which means that you can access it whenever you have time, whenever you want to practice things, whenever you want to remember what we did. Once you have signed up from this account, you will be able to access courses. Uh, and the key thing is this tab called programs. So the program that we are discussing today is Data Science for Biomedical Data Analysis. This is the link to the main program page. Thank you, Jasmine. And on this page, you should find all of the necessary information that you will need to succeed in this program. And I will discuss briefly, what does it mean to succeed in this program? And how do you know that you have succeeded? So here, if you scroll down, you should be able to see that for each session, like today's session, you have some associated online resources. So these resources are accessible at any time. And after, you, uh, after we have a session like today's, you will see here a recording of that session. So you should be able to go through all of these sessions for the duration of the program. And at the end, once you complete all of these sessions, you will also receive a certificate. And so that's the first place that you need to um, kind of navigate and, and take a look at if you have any questions about the curriculum, which we will go over today as well. So once you are signed in, this is a page where you see before you have joined the program. And after you have joined the program, you will see the additional information like the recordings, the certificate, et cetera. And all of that information is going to be accessible under your profile, under the programs tab. So here you will see if this is the only program that you're taking, just that program. If you have taken or are planning to take other programs, any program that you have signed up for, you will see it right here. And you will be able to track your progress in the program by seeing the completed sessions right here under that program itself. Okay, so the second thing that I wanted to point out is that the program consists of a number of courses. And today we will give you a brief view of what these courses include. 
But the first course that I would like to uh, kind of bring your attention to is a course called Introduction to Bioinformatics and Bytes and Molecules. And I will explain briefly why these are the two courses where we like to begin. And I will do that by just sharing my screen and showing you the first lesson in the first in this course. And the first lesson is more of an opportunity to learn about you so that we can adapt the materials that we cover in this program to your level and your interests. So if you go to this course, and thank you, uh, or Jesse, if you could please uh, put the link to this course as well, thank you. So in this course, it's a free course. If you join the program, if you didn't join the program, we encourage you to take this course. It will provide you with a high level overview of what we uh, kind of uh, seek to address in the topic of bioinformatics. But here you will find a brief survey. And if you haven't taken the survey, I highly encourage you to take the survey as we do today's session so that we can understand your background, so your current level of education, your occupation, which basically means are you involved in research? Are you in industry? Are you a student? So we would like to know that as well. Okay, if you don't see the survey, you need to go to uh, this course, Introduction to Bioinformatics, and the first lesson, Introduction to Big Data Bioinformatics. And you should be able to see this survey. Okay, so now we also want to understand if you're from a particular university or organization, that would be very helpful for us. We have multiple organizations that we are working with. And we would like to know your previous bioinformatics experience. So if you already have a PhD in bioinformatics or you don't know anything in bioinformatics will greatly help us provide you with the right assistance that you need. We think that this program could be useful for anyone, for people that have an advanced experience in bioinformatics or have no experience in bioinformatics. And I will explain in a little bit how we are going to address the different levels of experience that people have. Okay, the link for the survey is already posted. Uh, or just, we just shared the link right there on top, learnomicologic.com courses, and the course is called Introduction to Bioinformatics. Okay, now we also will cover a number of different data sets and data types. And that is why we also ask about your interests right here below. We provided here just a few different options. So maybe something that you're interested in is not listed out. And that's why you have an additional question here at the end about anything else that you would like us to know. If you have a specific interest, a project that you're working on, uh, or maybe a, a specific data type or a biological condition or a medical condition, you, will, you can put that in there and that would be very helpful for us as well. So the objective of today's session is number one, to get to know each other. So we would love to get to know you and we will tell you a little bit about us and our team. You will get to see what we do in action. So we can do that together. And we will also review some of the coursework and the material that we will cover throughout the program so that you understand how the different topics will be addressed during the session. Does anyone have any questions so far? If you do, please put your questions in the chat and I will take a pause every few minutes so that we can address those questions in detail and answer them hopefully in today's session or tell you about when we will cover that topic in the future. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is where we begin. We really want to make sure that you have a profile and when you have that profile, all of the activity and information that is collected about you will be available under that profile, not only for you, but also for our mentors. So when our mentors are interacting with you, when you have any questions, they will refer back to your profile and they will try to identify your level of experience and help find the right kind of an opportunity for you to learn anything that you might be missing from uh, this experience. So this uh, leads into the process of certification. So the, the goal of this program could mean several different things. So probably many of you are coming from different backgrounds. Uh, we're just getting to know you. 
we would like this program to be as effective as possible for each one of you and provide you with the value that you need. But to do that, we really need to identify what might be the potential outcomes for this program. So this is a program that will allow you to understand a variety of methods for data science. And I will briefly describe what these methods are. So the outcome that we're looking at first is a comprehensive overview of data science methods. So what would that include in the context of biomedical data? Number one, you will be able to understand a variety of omics data types. You will be able to perform exploratory data analysis so that you know how to explore and understand what does this data represent, whether it's microbiome data, transcriptome data, medical and clinical indicators for a variety of diseases, or this is data that you can uh, generate using different high throughput techniques like next generation sequencing. So a variety of data types, an overview of what they are and how to deal with them will be the first portion of this program. The second portion of this program is exploring that kind of data, structuring that data, preparing it for analysis, and really understanding the characteristics of that data. Then we will talk about big data. So there are many challenges with big data that are not standard for the types of tables that you might be used to working with. And so to understand the full process from raw to analyzed and interpretable signal is going to be a priority for this program. And a big part of that is understanding a variety of different methods, methods that include uh, statistical analysis and machine learning, as well as deep learning. And we hope to cover the conceptual as well as practical aspects of those methods. And then finally, we would like you to be able to understand the link between the selection of methods that you take during the project and the biological background and interpretation. So the link between biology and the methods that you select is very important in this program, perhaps more important than the actual technical skills that you might gain as a result of practicing a lot of the analyses in different examples that we will provide you with. Now, you do have an option for the duration of the program to focus on an independent project, right? And I'm going to address briefly the question here that Indrani Biswas is asking in the chat. So she's asking, uh, can you kind, uh, sorry, she's asking, will we be able to publish what we get our project, right? Or for example, using machine learning, I want to make it work for designing effective treatment strategies for cancer. So excellent question, right? And th that speaks about the application of data science methods to particular types of diseases like cancer or particular types of data, perhaps clinical data, if we're talking about treatment and indicators of the biological condition for that data, which might be sequencing data, genomics, transcriptomics, et cetera, right? So we'll talk about that and that will be a lot of uh, what you will be exposed to, but I briefly want to point you back to the portal and show you how do the projects fit into this process. So as I mentioned earlier, under your profile is where you will have access to a variety of coursework, which includes project examples, as well as an independent project that you would be able to submit at the end of this process. The Later part of today's presentation will deal specifically with that question. How do you take what you have learned and apply it to an independent project and perhaps advance towards publication, right? So a publication might take quite a, a long time, but you will definitely be able to get started on that process. And then it's just up to you on how fast you will be able to finish. But I will show you some examples of previous participants and the projects that they were able to complete during a program like this. So let me go back briefly to this slide and kind of start explaining how do all of these things fit into this program. So again, we're talking about different types of data. We're talking about exploring and understanding this data, analyzing this data using statistical analysis and machine learning, and learning about the link between biology and data science. How do these things link together? And so the way we're going to do this is we're going to provide you with curated data sets throughout this program 
We will explain how these data sets were generated in expert labs because we will be taking data sets from the public domain. So they come with a publication. You will be able to read those publications and understand them. And then we will reproduce aspects of those publications in the exercises that we perform to evaluate how methods compare to address a specific challenge or a question that those people had so that you get a better understanding of the topic as well as a better understanding of the methods and how they are applied.